The weather in Seattle has been absolutely beautiful of late, and so my wife and I have kickstarted our springtime projects outside by doing a lot of cleaning and organizing. And there was a spot out back that we've never really utilized very well, and we thought it would be a perfect place for a back door patio bar kind of thing. Uh, I'm not really sure how the build is going to go, but probably just use 4x4s and 2x4s, mostly pressure treated lumber. And uh, so, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy the video, stay tuned, and let's get to work. This is the area that I'm talking about that we're not utilizing very well. Uh, my wife's got a greenhouse for all the plants that need to survive during the winter, sort of a succulent fountain kind of thing. So all of this has to go, and we'll start digging out for the posts. Versus pouring concrete, I just had these cinder blocks with the brackets attached just laying around the house. And so once I dug them down to the proper depth, then I could start making cuts for the 4x4 supports. Since I don't have any screws that are bigger than uh, two and a half inches, I'm opting to use wood glue and pocket holes for the joinery. Unfortunately, with the Craig jig that I have, it won't allow me to clamp down on the uh, four by four. I think it only goes into two by four or whatever. But what you can do is you can take off this metal guide that usually comes like this and you can clamp it down, you know, inch and a quarter away from the edge of the four by clamp it down, drill your pocket holes, and it should work good enough. Quick example of what I'm talking about. I think this should be good enough. As you can tell, this video has got a lot of time lapses, but what you see here is me just making the cuts for the vertical supports. Now that i got the main structure built, I think I want to alter my plans just a little bit as far as the shelves go. Um, initially I was going to have maybe three, uh, two or three tiered system, um, and then more on the side where the L meets, but I think it's just overkill. Uh, I think less is more on this project, and so, yeah, we'll see what happens. For both the shelf behind the bar and the actual bar top, I'm using a 2x4x12 piece of Douglas fir.
And for the wall paneling, I'm using these cedar shakes, which are, I think, a one by five and a half by eight. And here I am just cutting them down to size, which is about six feet. And to secure the, the panels, I'm just using a little bit of wood glue and about four or five brad nails into each support. Off camera, I realized I needed an additional support, and so I put a third one smack dab in the middle. I wanted some contrast on this bar so I thought it would be cool to wood burn both the bar top itself and some vertical and horizontal pieces to picture frame in the walls. My brother Shay let me borrow his industrial blowtorch which made quick work of the uh, wood burn sesh. So originally I was going to secure this tabletop down with pocket screws so the screws remain hidden, but because I have the lip on all sides, I couldn't figure out how to measure the Craig jig in order to drill properly. So instead, I'm just going to use these two and a half spack screws and then just drill them into the four bys. Should work just fine. I used a combination of Thompson's water seal spray-on sealant as well as four coats of an oil-based polyurethane gloss to the bar top. I did that off camera by the way. And so once again, there you have it. I had a lot of fun with this build. Super excited on how it turned out. Can't wait to utilize it in the spring and summer with our outdoor barbecues and grill and chills. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know there was a lot of time lapses, so it probably couldn't have been that fun to watch. But thanks again for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Bye.